Hello! So, uh, the day has arrived. It's Sunday the 23rd. And Liam is coming home today. It's pretty exciting. So, we are spent some time getting stuff ready for him. Hi, Amy. We're locking our messy bedroom. <laughs> Hi! We got the oxygen tanks all set up. We got Liam set up with his little humidifier. And then, here's the kid's room. Focus! We're out of focus. And there was light. So our little dude's gonna be sleeping in here. Actually, both of them are gonna sleep in here for a while. Are you nervous? Very, but very excited. Me too. Got some more oxygen in there, just in case. Diapers, 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 wipes, diapers, wipes, diapers, wipes. Thank you to everybody who gave this to us. There's some little sweaters too. So yeah, that's it. Right now the other bed is storage <laughs> until we need to put them in their own beds. My yes. mom has been frantically going about all morning. Yes, I've been frantically trying to wash stuff for them because they need stuff. Well, let's go to the hospital and see our boys and hopefully take one of them home today. Go into the hospital. Look at them there, mountains. Them there, mountains are party. Oh, you want to bet I could throw a football over them there, mountains. Hi. What were you going to say? The milk's in the bag. Oh. I just freaked out thinking, oh, I brought fresh milk and I don't know what I did with it. We're making the walk. Let's go get our boys. Well, we're probably not going to leave for a couple hours. Yeah. But here we go. Oh. Watch the game. Hey you, can you tell us why you're not coming home today? Can you tell us why? That's right. I know. Well, you shouldn't have had a great morning. He's hungry. The only problem I have is I moved the bathtub all over. <laughs> yeah. Let's get your bald spot. Yeah. Hey there, it's us. Hi. And guess what? 
There's no kids back there. There's no kids. We got some bad news today. Little Liam last night decided to have a grade one, which is when both his oxygen saturation and his heart rate drop and it required nurse intervention. So that means his countdown starts over again and he has another seven days in the hospital. Kind of sucks. We hope we were hoping to come home with one child today and that didn't happen. Um, but it's better that he's in the hospital than doing something like that at home. We don't want him to do that at home. Um, so the plan is, and we were going to take Aiden home on Christmas Day, but now we realized he has a eye appointment on Wednesday. Wednesday. So the day after Christmas. So there's no point in us taking him home Christmas afternoon evening to stay the night at our house and then have to come back up to the hospital for a, a day at the hospital. So we uh, talked to the doctor, the big wig doctor. I sweet talked him. It Amy, didn't take very much effort. Amy pretty much said, what do you think? And he's like, oh yeah. He's like, I don't think we should have to send him home and then have him right back up here. So we'll have Christmas day to spend with our families and our kids. And then we, uh, we get to hopefully, as long as Aiden does everything he should, we should be bringing him home on Wednesday evening, afternoon. And then uh, Liam, I think they said like Friday or Saturday. Friday. Friday. So Friday or Saturday. Friday or Saturday. This weekend probably. So by New Year's we should have both kids at home as long as they both behave. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a shock for us because Liam just doesn't do that kind of stuff and he did it last night. So they wanted to be cautious and that was their rule. If anything happens then, you know, seven more days. So doctors came and talked to us. They were pretty nice about it. And our, our poor nurse, our prep, wait, she was one of our primaries. She, she had to be the bearer of bad news, but it's okay. Yeah, I, I felt worse for her because she was the one that had to tell us that he wasn't going home today, so poor Rochelle. Anywho, it's, that's it. So, sorry we didn't get to uh, share the arrival of our children in our home, but at least the light at the end of the tunnel is getting closer. Mm 